Yeah. You okay, everyone? Uh, video 7002 of the first um, exponentials growth decay path thing in your bob. Tired now. So it's not, it's example five. So it says uh, a scientist is researching the effect of caffeine. She models the mass of caffeine in the body using m equals m0 e to the minus kt, where m0 is the initial mass of caffeine and m is the mass of caffeine after two hours. Right. Oh god, this is this exam question. This is ridiculously rock hard. Right, so it says, on average, it takes 5.7 hours for a mass of caffeine in the body to halve. One cup of strong coffee, uh, coffee contains 200 milligrams of caffeine. A scientist drinks two strong cups of coffee. Right, on the exam, this is on one of the first exam papers on the new linear, and it was done ridiculously badly. The reason being is people didn't spot this and how important this was. You have two cups of coffee. You start off with 400 milligrams of caffeine. That's my starting point. And people did not do that. They started off with 200 because it says it's just 200 in a drink. But physically you've had two drinks. Right, so let's have a look at this. Use the model to estimate how much is in it at midday. Uh, so what do we need to do? We need to use this information, because at the moment I've got M equals 400 E to the minus KT. So I'm going to use, uh, what am I going to use? I'm going to use this information. So I'm going to use T is 5.7 and M is half of the initial 400 to give me 200. And that will find K for me. So 200 is 400 E to the minus K times 5.7. Half it, so I've got 0 0.5 is E to the minus 5.7 K. Take logs of both sides. So log of a half is minus 5.7k. So log of a half over minus 5.7 is k. And that gives me roughly 0 0.1216 is k. So now I've got an equation, which is m equals 400e to the minus 0 0.1216t. Yeah. And I want to know how much it is at midday. So T is 0 is 8 a.m. So if I know that T is 0 is 8 a.m., so midday must be T is 4. So M is 400 E to the minus 1, not point, sorry, 1, 2, 1, 6 times 4. Put that in your calculator and you get uh, 245.99. So roughly 246 milligrams of caffeine left. So that's part A done. Part B wants to know when the, when the mass... Whew. So it says, here's it says, so it says, scientists want the mass of caffeine in their body to stay below 480 milligrams. Use the model to find the earliest time that you can drink another cup of strong coffee. Right then. Okay. So the way we're doing this for part B. Uh, if, say for instance, the amount of caffeine in my body was about 400, if I had another cup of coffee straight away, it'd go up to 600. If I had one for like, uh, if I let the value of the, the, the mass of the caffeine in my body drop to 280, when I have another cup of coffee, I'm okay. So this is kind of what I want. So I want to find the time 
when the mass was 480, which is my limit, but I want to take off the 200. And people did not like that on the exam paper at all. So I'm going to suss out the fact that if I have a cup of coffee and the amount of caffeine in my body isn't less than 280, it's going to take me over. So most people just did 480 and didn't have a clue what was going on. Which is fair enough because most people don't have a clue what's going on in this question. So I'm back to m equals 400, e to the minus 0. Uh, what was it? 1216. And I'm going to set m to be 280. I divide through, so 400 over 280 is like 28 over 40. Uh, what's that going to be the sign? It's like 7 over 10, not 0.7. Why don't I just put it in my calculator? 280 divided by 400, not 0.7. What I'm going to try and do it in my head on a Wednesday afternoon when we can have it. After doing the first penalty, the new lot. So do logs and then divide through. Six. Gives me 2.933. If I multiply the 0.933 by 60, it gives me roughly. 2 hours 56 minutes. So if I started drinking at 8 a.m., to keep it low, I could have another one at 10.56. So that's part B done. Uh, part, B. part C says, state a reason why the mass of caffeine remaining in the scientist's body Predicted by the model may not be accurate. Whew, right then. Well, how are you making this brew? You'd have to be like mega scientific um, with your um, measuring out to make sure that it was 200 in each brew. So how, how can you do that? That's just ridiculous, isn't it, really? So each cup of coffee... will contain different levels of caffeine. God. I don't like caffeine. It gives me a massive headache. Right, that's eight minutes left with this question that's given me a massive headache. Right, bye-bye.